Greeting their community. My name is Mrs. Khadija Gjdad. I am PhD student at Mohammed the Fifth University of Rabat at Morocco, as well as nurse teacher at the Higher Institute of Nursing Professions and Health Techniques in Agadir, Morocco. First, I'd like to thank the conference organizers for allowing me to participate and share our study finding. This study is titled Evaluating the Clinical Learning Environment from the Perspective of Moroccan Healthcare Students. Nursing is practice-based profession and Incorporating clinical learning into the curriculum allows students to integrate psychomotor, cognitive and affective abilities needed to operate as practicing clinicians. Clinical learning environment is critical for developing practical skills, expertise and caring behaviors needed in healthcare professions. Negative student experiences in the clinical learning environment can affect satisfaction with the profession, impacting retention and contributing to the worldwide nursing shortage. Positive student experiences appear to play an important impact in achieving student learning outcomes and can promote enhanced registration nursing practice. Hence, improvements in the clinical learning environment can be made through an evaluation of students' perceptions of their experiences in the clinical environment. This study aimed to evaluate the clinical learning environment from the perspective of healthcare students in Morocco and to compare student perceptions based on gender, degree program, and year of study. This cross-sectional study was carried out between March and May 2019 at two public nursing education institutions. Inclusion criteria for students were undergraduate students enrolled in the first, second, and third year of the nursing, midwifery, or health techniques degree program, and who have just completed a course of clinical practice in hospital ward or primary health care setting. The clinical learning environment Supervision and nurse teacher scale was developed in, two, uh, in 2008 at Finland. The tool contained 34 items spread into five dimensions. Pedagogical atmosphere on the ward, nine items. Leadership style of the ward manager, four items. Premises of care on the ward, four items. Supervisory relationship, eight items and the role of nurse teacher, nine items. Students responded to each statement on Likert scale on five points ranging from one totally disagree to five totally agree. We, in the current study, we, we used the Arabic version of Klee's Plasti scale, which has been validated in previous study. After the end of the clinical practicum, questionnaires were distributed to the students at the classroom, asking them to answer according to the la their last clinical practicum period. In accordance to the CLEAS plastic skill, students answered questions concerning demographic characteristics. A total score of the questionnaire was uh, obtained by computing the mean score of all questions. Scores on the five sub-dimensions was determined based on the ratings of items that constituted each dimension. More satisfaction with the statement is indicated by higher scores. The t-test or ANOVA 
were uh, used uh, to assess relationship between student demographic variables and mean scores of total scales and subdimensions. At total, uh, 15, 50 students responded to the questionnaire given response rate of 95%. The majority of uh, students, 80.6% uh, were female and their age uh, varied from 17 to 20 years. Nursing students represent more than half of uh, the sample and uh, most of uh, participants had undertaken the last clinical placement at hospital ward. The Cronbach alpha of the, the total clisplasty was 0 0.93 alpha values uh, for subdimension varied from 0 0.71 for premises of care on the world to 0 0.92 for role of nurse teacher. The mean score of the total scale, the total clisplasty scale was 3.17 indicating that uh, students were moderately satisfied with their e clinical experiences. Pedagogical atmosphere of uh, on the world received the higher score, 3.31, uh, while the rule of nurse teacher uh, subdimension received the lowest, 3.08. According to the finding, uh, gender uh, wasn't associated with students' perception of their clinical uh, experiences. However, uh, the relationship was only significant for the pedagogical atmosphere on the world. Male students scored higher than female. Uh, results showed an evidence correlation between uh, students' uh, perceptions of their clinical uh, experiences and their year of study. Uh, the first uh, year students were the more satisfied than uh, the third year students. Data also revealed uh, in a clear association between students' perceptions and uh, degree program. For the total scale, uh, medical social assistant student were, was the most satisfied while students in rehabilitation were the uh, least satisfied. Across the five sub-dimensions, uh, students' medical social assistance were also uh, most, the most satisfied, uh, for, with the exception of the premises of care on the world where the health techniques were the most satisfied. On the other hand, uh, students in rehabilitation were uh, the least satisfied or less satisfied with the two dimension leadership style of the world manager and role of nurse teacher, while midwives were the, uh, the less satisfied with the three dimension pedagogical atmosphere on the world, premises of care on the world and supervisory relationship. Uh, Moroccan healthcare student uh, was were moderately satisfied with the clinical learning environment. The most factor impacting their perceptions was pedagogical atmosphere on the world. 
medical assistant and first year students were more likely to evaluate their clinical experiences positively. This finding could be useful to education institutions as well as institutions providing clinical learning opportunities to healthcare students in order to improve clinical learning and development of required profession skills. Why are students in rehabilitation and midwives, as well as students in their third year, the least satisfied with their clinical experiences? Uh, more studies are required to find answers to these issues. Thank you for your time and consideration. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me at radijabijdaj.gmail.com.